Hello my turtlings and welcome to a video on me showing you how to use Photoshop on a tablet. This is for Photoshop Elements 12, keep that in mind so it's not for any other, it can work for any other but this is specifically for Photoshop Elements 12. So um, I hope you like the video that is about to come up and enjoy. Before we get started on that I want to show you what I use to draw with, I use a glove. This is not an expensive glove, it's just a glove that I saw sitting around my house, quite old. I cut the, all the fingers off and it when it's and then put it on my hand and that enables me, it doesn't pick up touches so I'm able to rest my hand on the screen and it won't pick up any touch movements I have to do. So let's move on to the video itself, me telling you how to use Photoshop. Okay, now we are going to get started and use Photoshop. Before we get started, I'm just going to show you what pens I'm going to use. I'm using this pen, the pen that comes with it. It is a very nice pen. I use it all the time. Got the ballpoint bit there. Yeah, the um, you can also pick up one of these pens if you really want to get it. Just a basic little rubbery bit. Not exact as the other one, as you can see. Compare it. Yeah. Not as exact. So they're the pens I'm going to be using today. So let's move on to how we're going to do this. To get started, what you want to do is in the top left corner, you'll see there's an open section. You want to hit that. And you can either open up a picture straight away or you can select one that you've already done or things like that. I've got one open, as you see here, but I don't want to use that. I want to. Sh I want to show you how to get your, how to pick your own one of these, how to get your own blank. So what you want to do is right next to the open. There's a little arrow. You want to click on that, and you'll get this icon. I've been using this on my tab for a little bit, so I've got some icons that it's already saved on. You want to go all the way down to the bottom, or it might be on the top, and you want to click New Blank File. So you click that. And I'll come up with something like this. You can customize it however you want, centimeters, whatever, name it whatever you want. That is your choice, but I'm just going to hit OK and stick with what it is. So we've just got a basic square here, nothing too fancy or anything. To zoom in on a tablet, you can just flick out, flick back in. Nothing that big of a deal to get the good zoom. If you want a computer though, just quick tip, there's a little one down here and you can just click on that and then type in on your keyboard which one you want but with the tablet it's a lot easier to do Photoshop because with this pen you've got a really good pointiness and it's, it's I just find this a lot easier to draw with on this tablet because of this pen even with this it's still pretty good it's not going to give you as much accuracy as this pen though so let's move in. So let's see if you want to pick a picture. You can either do exactly what I set up here and go to the um, open, or you can go to file, your choice. You click on file and you can just click open. It gives you to exactly the same page, just your preference. I usually go with open to do things like that. So let's say if I wanted to pick a picture of this tablet when it is like changing. So here we go, there's the picture. And let's say if I want to move it over to this, it's very simple, it's photo bin, it's already up, but you can close it like that, click it, it's in the bottom left, very easy to get to, you can just click on it, drag it, and drop it. And let, let it load for a couple of seconds, and there it is. Pops up, very easy, you can move that however you want, and then that will work like that. So. Let me just discard this, I don't really want it. And you can hit undo, it's on the bottom line, just above your toolbar on your main computer. Uh, you just hit undo, and it will just go away, get wiped. If you wanna, instead of you going to clicking on photo bin, and then clicking on your picture, you can just, is this like a little tab up the top here, just below the um, open, a little tab on the top, you can select your pictures very simply, just on and off. So let's say if I only wanted a certain bit of this picture, you can either go to this tool. This tool isn't going to work that well because the lighting in this wasn't the best. 
and you can just select literally just tap or hold and drag where you want it it's not going to be the best on this because it does recognize what you pick when you click it so it's quite a good function so I'm not going to use that so I'm just going to go back and I'm going to use this function it's right next to it it is called the it's called like a tool it's called the lasso tool it literally you can just drag what you want to cut out you see what I'm doing I'm just doing crazy stuff like that got a bit confused but if you just well, let's say if you just wanted one of the keys here you can just go over it like that and then you've got that key and then you can move that around it goes off the picture so that's I like that I use that a lot it's a lot easier on tablet because you can get right in and get the exact movement of what you want on PC it's a bit difficult you might want to pick up um a pad like a touchpad that you might want to use for it so that's a good example I'll put some in the um, description below that I think are pretty good it doesn't matter just a couple that are pretty good so you got that and let's say if you wanted to put that into your photo into your black canvas here what you can do is you go back to it obviously you've got it highlighted in your tool also really quickly if you wanted to get that as a box let's say if you just put an image in it's this little one up here just underneath like magnify and stuff and whatever you can also zoom in via this but it's easy on tablet to use your fingers you can also get this tool to push things around so it's just below there like a little arrow it's called it's called the move tool very simple move that around so what, so what you're going to do if you copy it on tablet you're not going to have a chance to get a keyboard so what you want to do is you want to go up to edit and you want to go to copy if you're on um, PC it's going to be very easy for you to do that Ooh, what's happened yeah to do that I think I just deleted it by accident yeah so here it is to do that file no edit as I said and then you want to go copy make sure you hit copy not cut and that will copy it straight away with PC it's just control C there you go and if you go back to your picture just black just basic white no I don't want to do that you can go back up here and hit paste and there it is our little fragment that we picked drag that up yeah, so that's what we picked you can discard it you can do whatever you want with it to draw this is one of my most favorite functions on this ever is that you see there's like so this is um expert you got different modes up here I forgot to tell you about this on the very top bar you got quick it's literally just got barely nothing text um, cropping um, the magic tool thing the eye tool I mean you got guided that's literally just looking at stuff you can zoom in via it and then you got expert I use expert all the time because you've got all the functions that you ever need in it so what you want to do is you'll see that is tab saying draw you want to gone you want to look on that you want to hit this little icon that looks like um looks like a little pencil and you'll see you can either go to this tool the color picker tool or you can go down here to the color you're going to use make sure that the second color is always white if you're using a white background so then you can erase because it erases it in white so I'll show you if I just get a bit of green put a bit of green on here and then eraser that's up here looks like a basic eraser you can rub it out but if you change that to a different color let's say red it will erase it in red it will do red so you can yeah I don't know why it would do that but that's an option so I'll just hit undo and undo all of that so go back to drawing go to this you can draw you see my font is only five down here it's like a toolbar so you can drag it up with this pen this button here the first one there show it more closer that one there it is meant for a right click function so I'm gonna use that as right click so obviously I would click that and it'll come up on here to whatever I need it to be even I can scroll I want it to be a 9 I can tap away and then I can get drawing into like I don't know whatever I want um, this is good on the Sony Vario Dual 11 also on the 13 it is just smooth if you draw like constantly it'll go out of sync Let's see if I can get out of sync it'll get a bit laggy and won't work for you as good as a normal 
basic um yeah like a normal basic computer because it is a pen and it is run by batch you should unscrew this back bit here and there you go so to keep going on this so you got them you can also use photo bin to move the whole picture over so when i move this over hopefully it will load there you go it's cut that bit out because that's what it was lost on when i left you can draw over these and very simply you can also add more pictures you can add bucket and kiff color and everything it's kind of a bit weird because of the background but go to text box go like that you can type in what you want i can't because i'm on a tablet and it doesn't come up like that but you can flick your keyboard up like that and type in what you want and then push it back down so you know if it's got random words hit ok i can highlight them and then I can go to color that's on this toolbar here, this toolbar will be like your saviour I want it to be yellow because I can and then I want it to be bold and underlined and weird squiggly writing and in this reference yeah. okay look it's yellow and bold and whatever you want it to be and when you move it it goes into different shapes and whatnot. so you got that function very simple recommend get the glove stop sort of thing so look if I get my fingers I'll be if I get a drawing I'll prove it. You'll see that. Where is it? it? Doesn't pick it up because it knows that I've got the pen, but pen and then that is no different. It doesn't do anything to it. So I hope that helped you out guys for this kind of semi tutorial on how to use it. Um all the stuff for this will be in the links in the description, like my tablet, the pen, this pen um yeah so hope you like the video if you want to learn if you want to know any more just give me a shout i will easily do it for you guys tell me in the comments give me a like if you liked it um even give me a favorite if you really want i'm not that fussed but yeah hope you like the video guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye